I receive a lot of emails along the lines of what's the best way to learn math? What book should I buy? Is this book worth it? But sometimes I get questions where I read the email and I can tell that the person who wrote the email is in genuine despair. They need help. They really do. And that's, that's why I wanted to make this video because I feel this person could use some help. This email is fairly recent and maybe some of you have some advice that is very good that can help this person. I'm going to read the email in its entirety and I'll do my best to give advice to this person. But again, if you have any advice, leave a comment because it could help them and it can help other people who feel like they're in a similar situation. All right. The person's name is Joseph and the subject is a teen in need of advice. Hi, Math Sorcerer. I hope you're doing well. My name is Joseph and I am from Sweden. I discovered your amazing channel when I was looking for math book reviews. The year that just passed by was a stupendously arduous year from many aspects and thus made it difficult to give my mind to mathematics and physics. I got interested in mathematics when I was 12. I hated school, but loved physics and math particularly. I taught myself algebra one and two, trig, geometry, some calc, and classical mechanics. To teach myself these topics, I basically abstained from school assignments completely, and my grades dropped down to Fs. After a very hard period in my life, I did not do anything at all. And now I am back again. But my mom is working very hard, and I really want to help her, but I can't. And besides, I study around 10 hours a day. My dream is to change physics and mathematics. Now, I feel very confused. I am sort of all over the place, and I do not know what to do. I do maths every day, but I feel like it is not taking me anywhere. What do I do? Wow. Wow, what an email. So I read this, I thought, okay, I, I should make a video to respond to this because I feel like this person needs some help, needs some guidance. So I'm going to start by saying props, congratulations for teaching yourself algebra one and two, trig, geometry, some calc and classical mechanics all on your own. Self-study, as much as I love it and as much as I'm a proponent of it, is genuinely harder than you know going to college and taking a class from someone who explains things to you and gives you structure that you can follow. Self-study requires that you structure everything yourself and it's more challenging. So good work. You mentioned that your grades dropped down to Fs. That's no good, obviously. You can't change that, but you can change the future. So my advice is this. If you're studying around 10 hours a day, that's a lot of time to study. And I'm not saying you should study less because I'm a big fan of you know overdoing it and really pushing yourself, but balance is important too, right? So try to make sure that you know, you're doing other things, right? Make sure you're eating good foods, make sure you're exercising, make sure you have some friends, uh, some social relationships, try to have a balance, but keep your focus on what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to change physics and math, keep working at it. You know, worst case scenario, you're going to learn a lot of math and a lot of physics, and that is going to take you somewhere. You know, you're, you're a teenager, so I understand it's hard to help your mom, you know, financially, I'm assuming. And I'm sorry, I've been in that situation. I know it's tough, but stick it out, right? The things that you're doing now, the steps that you're taking now, studying all the time, working on math and physics, that's going to help you. It's going to help you in college and that's going to help you, you know, get a job someday or whatever it is, you know, you, you want to do, you know, you want to do math and physics. So you're probably going to want to go to college and get a few degrees and then go from there. But I think you're on the right track. I, I think you're just in a difficult time. The fact that you're studying math and physics on your own and you're a teenager is absolutely incredible. So keep at it, right? And, and focus on your grades too. You mentioned that part about the grades dropping down to Fs. I, I don't think that's good. I've been there. When I was in high school, I had a year where that was me, right? So I've been in your situation. I know what it's like. It's tough. 
And the funny thing is you'll look back on this moment. You know, you'll look, you'll, you'll look back on this in 30 years and you'll say, oh yeah, I remember that time I got all Fs. And I remember that time that I came back from that and I did awesome. And you're going to look back and you're going to see your life and how great you're doing. And you'll look back on this time when you got Fs and you'll, and you'll look at it as an accomplishment. You know, you, you, you rose from the ashes like a phoenix, right? From, from Fs to A's. So focus on your grades. Uh, focus on getting good grades. It matters. It's going to help you in your future. And yeah, that's my advice. Focus on getting good grades. Focus on learning. Try to find some balance. Make sure you have a social life, exercise, and you know, eat well. That's the advice I have for you. And I think you're doing good. I think you're doing really well. I don't think that you're in a bad place in the sense that you know you're you have the ability to work that hard. Many people can't sit down and, and they can't work on math for an hour. They can't, they can't focus. It, math is hard. It is extremely hard. It's one of the hardest <laughs> subjects you can learn. You know, and I, I personally accidentally fell into mathematics. I it wasn't like I had this dream to study math. Uh, I found it accidentally, you know, after going to uh, college. And then, then, then I created the dream. That, that's when the dream began, you know, when I, when I discovered mathematics. That's when I started to have those, those big dreams. But you're having them at a much younger age than I did, which is, which is really good. So, yeah, that's my advice. Uh, hopefully someone else has some advice for you, uh, Joseph. And yeah, if you want to learn math, by the way, I do have courses. They're on the Udemy platform, but if you buy them, please use my website. My website is freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. It's a really terrible website. It's not very well designed, um, but it works, right? The links work. If you click the links, it'll take you to the Udemy course. And I lowered the prices on all my courses to as low as Udemy would let me lower them. So when you click on those links, it should give you a good price. So again, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com if you want to check out my courses. They're super cheap. I've got courses on algebra, calculus, uh, some proof writing stuff, abstract algebra, some advanced calculus, etc. Also, uh, if you're not a subscriber and you feel like you found any value in this content at all, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. No big deal. The biggest thing you should take away from this video is that sometimes in life when you're working really, really hard, and it seems like you're not getting anywhere, you actually are. And, you know, like in Joseph's case, he says, you know, he really wants to help his mom, but he can't. That's understandable, right? You're a teenager, um, you know, you're going to school, you're studying, there's only so much you can do. And I think the fact that you do want to help her, I think that's a really good thing. And I think someday you'll be able to, right? So keep it up, keep studying, keep doing mathematics, keep pushing forward. And I think it's going to make a difference in your life and in the life of those around you. So you're doing good, Joseph. You're doing really well. If anyone else has advice for Joseph, please leave a comment. For some reason, this email, like, I don't know, it just kind of got to me. Just, you know, a teenager working so hard, trying to help his mom, and he can't, uh, and he feels down. You know, you shouldn't feel down, Joseph. Um, you're doing the right thing. Take care.